Let's talk about When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill. This has got to be one of my favourite reads now. Honestly, hands down, it's up there. I loved this. So I recently read this as a buddy read with Lena from Talking Chickle on TikTok and it was a great experience. It was nice to widen my horizons with different people, um, getting different experiences and different perspectives on books and buddy reads and I just love that. So, so it was really cool reading this book which I ended up really loving alongside another person. So what is it about? We are following this incredibly intriguing and rewarding novel set in a reimagined 1950s America where women will sometimes just transform into dragons and take off, literally shedding their human flesh and sodding off to do whatever dragons do in this world um, as well as being a literal transformation it's used as some very clever metaphorical um, conversations on female oppression and the suppressed feminine anger that was that's always very prevalent in the world today but particularly at this time 1950s America when women didn't really have much that they could say they were still still very sexist you know gender gender stereotypical um, roles and ways of thinking and of course that anger is going to simmer under the surface if you've been taught from day one that you're not really supposed to be having an opinion a voice any thoughts and feelings until one day boom it bursts and you turn into a motherfucking dragon in this book i love how even the mention of dragons is shunned away viewed as something incredibly embarrassing and something you should feel shame for but throughout the duration of the book you learn that why is it it's something natural um that happens why are we shunning it away as though it's something unbearable to discuss which again gives that allusion to the the suppression of female voices and opinions because something as natural as this is just not allowed to be discussed in in fact there's this whole kind of forgetting after the transformation has happened called the dragon in and people are kind of gaslighted really into believing that it didn't happen these things just didn't happen it don't say anything about it it's just very hush hushed um so in this book we are following the protagonist called alex who um her, she goes through life kind of questioning why is there so much secrecy around this what is it as well as being in in what feels to be quite a loveless home um she never gets on with her father there's some kind of mystery and confusion around her mother who disappeared for a while and then came back not herself um through an adult's eyes you you learn and she eventually learns as she gets older that it's due due to quite serious health conditions is why her mother disappeared um and when she came back it had obviously changed her so much physically and mentally that she wasn't how Alex had remembered her. She also has um, been raised pretty much by her aunt who is such a solid strong figure in 1950s America, a very um, taboo version of a woman I guess you could say but she gets away with it because everybody just, she's got this charm that everybody can't help but feel love for. Um, and there's just so much packed into this but yeah primarily we are following Alex and her viewpoint um, into this dragon but you also learn from the beginning that Alex is a scientist and she's kind of going back into her past telling you about all of this from the beginning to the end but in between each chapter you have um, like a mini chapter which gives you a report like a scientific um, journal article about debunking the myths of this dragon in and reasons why it should be discussed and analysed and talked about and studied and it's really fascinating it, it beautifully adds to that believability of this which sounds weird because you know dragons but it, it really does enhance that magical realism because it feels like okay there's scientific studies embedded within that you know goes into more depth behind the actual mechanisms of this dragoning and the psyche and why it happens to some people and not others and the conditioning and the reasonings for it all it was just so interesting to read talking about some characters now i could not believe how irresponsible pretty much all the adults in, in alex's life was 
to her. Um, I forgot to mention something quite important. Um, <laughs> Alex basically um, ends up becoming a sister to her cousin called B because of this dragon in situation, this dragon in um, epidemic, if you will. And that is drilled into her that no, you've always been sisters. You don't have a cousin called B, you have a sister called B. It's just her whole aunt is erased. And that erasure of thought and words really made me think of um, 1984 by George Orwell, which I loved. I loved that kind of comparison that it made me think. Um, but back to the characters of the parents particularly I just can't believe how outrageous it made me feel that these children were literally left to their own devices to take care of themselves and each other because the adults in their life couldn't be bothered to raise them do you know what I mean and I'm namely talking about the dad who had this very stiff upper lip kind of approach to everything he was not cut out for raising these children um he didn't seem to really want to be present in their life and as soon as there was a way where he could get rid of them he did without hesitation um and it just made me livid to read but again it, it added to that depth it added to the character building the character growth and kind of getting an understanding more into the mindset of Alex and how her views on society and life in general may be affected by that speaking of Alex and her sister B I absolutely loved the relationship and dynamic between two of them um it was so deep like we had this relationship as them as cousins then as sisters and then eventually it felt like a mother-daughter relationship because they became so close and you know for a long time it was just them against the world that was kind of like the mantra that they said to each other um and you really saw how this relationship blossomed and strengthened and became different facets within itself um but yeah it was a really interesting route um it showcased this kind of non-traditional family unit beautifully and i really enjoyed that aspect of it the writing in this i absolutely fell in love with it felt beautiful but in a very logical way it as i say um you know there was these scientific elements quite heavy throughout it but the way the science was fleshed out was so enchanting you know it just just was a beautiful combination um it all felt very factual especially as i mentioned earlier the in-between chapters which added to like you know the reports of the dragon in the science behind the dragons um it was all very underground as well basically propaganda like no one was allowed to talk about it and establishments and organizations that did talk about it freely were instantly shut down they were removed from any kind of financing any kind of support and their names were basically chucked out into the studio so no one would kind of take their credibility as you know word as sound um so yeah and also alongside that i really enjoyed again this scientific phenomenon this magic phenomenon but how it was used in a way to talk about the silence of women and the oppression of women all these details i found to really add um dimension and you know further intricate details to the world building an extra layer of believability credibility um and a beautiful unfolding story one thing i wish we'd had more of was this explanation of not work knots and i guess it, the the protection of of not work was very heavily present throughout the story particularly with Alex's mother um, but it was never really given in plain text what they were for you get an idea like you just kind of get a gist of what it was but it would have eased my curiosity I think had it been given more of like a firm closure on that narrative but regardless of that I thought this was an amazing book I will definitely be looking out for more books from Kelly Barnhill and yeah I gave this a five out of five stars so let me know if you guys have read Women with Dragons and what your thoughts and feelings of this was as well I'd love to hear but for now thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you in another video soon bye